Thanks for joining us. We now know more about the driver of an SUV who took off after crashing with a motorcycle yesterday on 94 near Drexel Road. The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office says the driver had two warrants out for his arrest, one for driving with a revoked license, the other for failing to appear in court. He is now in police custody. The crash and search for him brought traffic to a standstill for at least three hours during rush hour traffic Friday. Tony Atkins shows us how people who live nearby stepped up to help some of the people stranded in that traffic jam. Right now, traffic is flowing and things are pretty much back to normal here on the interstate, but it's people in this Oak Creek community who say they won't soon forget how they came together to help those stranded after the accident. So yesterday you're looking at full just stop. I mean, traffic was not moving anywhere. It may slow down, but stop traffic here on I-94 is extremely rare. Friday night it happened. A motorcycle and SUV crashed on the interstate. Deputies say people nearby gave the woman on the motorcycle CPR on the scene before she was taken to the hospital. And the SUV's driver took off before he was eventually found. Deputies say he was wanted on other driving-related charges. To live with that to have that on your conscience every day. It just kind of was disappointing to see that happen. Behind the accident, lots of people were stuck on the road for hours. Folks here on Winona Drive quickly stepped in to help, offering food, medical attention, and even their own restrooms for hours on end. We are carrying out cases of water and kind of just whatever snacks we could scramble up from all of our pantries. Saturday, we went back into the neighborhood where people like Erin Polzik were already restocking their fridges. She says it was good to see many people from so many different backgrounds coming together for the greater good in her neighborhood. Since that happened, everybody was kind of out of their houses talking and getting together and kind of becoming the neighborhood that we should be all the time. Reporting in Oak Creek, Tony Atkins, today's TMJ4.